The use of wind energy in the United States is steadily increasing. In March 2017, wind and solar accounted for 10% of the overall power generation. Industry experts think that by 2050, the country could be getting as much as one third of power from the blowing wind. But there are still many challenges for big wind. The fundamental problem with wind energy is basic physics. They can't increase their power production unless they increase the number of turbines and the size of their turbines. They need massive structures to capture enough energy to make a difference. The land use requirements for wind energy are roughly 700 times as large as the land use requirements for hydraulic fracturing. And then you add in the problems of bird kills, including not just little uh, uh, passerine birds, sparrows, and, and meadowlarks and the rest. It's raptors, it's birds of prey. Some of our most iconic wildlife, bald eagles, golden eagles, are being killed by, by these wind turbines. Flower Turbines has developed a bold idea on how to solve these issues in an urban setting. These small wind turbines are cost-effective, silent, vibration-free, and long-lasting. They are hazard-free for birds, have proximity superiority, small land footprint, and can even increase energy output by as much as 20% when placed close together. The bold idea is that we can take the small wind turbine market and turn it into a mass production market like Henry Ford did for the automobile. Unlike wind farms where a lot of space is needed, wind tulips can spin close to each other. They can also be installed on roofs of homes and buildings. We can turn so many buildings across the world into uh, producers of clean energy and make a very serious dent in the amount of dirty energy that's produced in this world. The wind energy market is very much like the solar market in a number of ways. Many areas of Florida have low wind and they're sunny. They should use solar. I'd say a good 30% maybe more of the United States is appropriate for wind turbines. And um, uh, one thing that's very interesting, if you look at it, not that they're competitive with each other, but they actually are synergistic with each other. Flower Turbines is taking part in an urban development project in Tampa, Florida. Flower Turbines is a member of the inaugural Dream It Urban Tech Program. Dream It is a top 10 ranked global accelerator and venture capital firm. All of the companies that we selected for the program are at least potentially relevant for Tampa. A few of them, like Flower Turbines, would like their first at-scale installation to be part of this $3 billion renovation project in Tampa. Fossil fuels still dominate the energy mix, and big wind is facing many issues with reaching scale. Companies like Flower Turbines are bringing small wind turbine products to market they may be the answer to harnessing the power of the wind.